Washington, uh, Kat, Mc, Chairwoman McMorris Rogers. Thank you. Appreciate the gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, Ms. Mr. Uh, Speaker, and appreciate the gentleman's leadership on the Health Subcommittee, uh, as well as bringing forward this legislation today. I think it's very important uh, legislation, H.R. 382, the Pandemic is Over Act. And just to recap, so three years ago today, Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar had declared a public health emergency for the emerging threat that was the novel coronavirus. And the U.S. had just identified its first official case over a week uh, prior. Within one year of the anniversary of the public health emergency, thanks to the early leadership of President Trump and Operation Warp Speed, an authorized vaccine helped prevent thousands of hospitalizations and deaths. Three years later, it's estimated that 95% of those over 16 have been vaccinated or have had COVID-19. So earlier in January, President Biden extended the public health emergency for the 12th time, continuing to use the pandemic and the national and public health emergency authorities to achieve progressive policy goals. This includes pushing for an indefinite extension on the moratorium on evictions, the suspension of student loan interest payments, and attempts to require masking in public transit. So last week, the House Republicans announced that we would bring this bill, along with Representative Paul Gosar's bill, to end the COVID-19 national emergency to the floor today. And now, just yesterday, the Biden administration decided to announce their plans to end the public health emergency on May 11, 2023 which CNN has reported only came after the House Democrats were worried about voting against this bill without the White House having a plan in place. Whatever the reason or the rationale for their announcement, I am pleased that the administration is following the House Republicans in finally abiding by President Biden's own acknowledgement four months ago that the pandemic is over. But it shouldn't take another three months to unwind this authoritarian control. It's long past time for the Biden administration to stop relying on an emergency that no longer exists so that they can make unilateral decisions. I urge my fellow Democratic colleagues to join, join the Democratic administration and the House Republicans in voting yes on HR 3882, declare the, the COVID-19 pandemic over, give Americans their lives back, and work to develop policies so that we're better prepared moving forward. The Senate voted in a bipartisan way to end the national emergency, and I hope that this bill also will, will gain bipartisan support. And with that, I yield back.